Hello everyone, this time I'd like to share the storyline for the episode that aired last night. In this episode, Sunwoo met Ansong's parents and Ansong met Sunwoo's parents. Unfortunately, both Sunwoo and Ansong received rejection from their respective families. Sunwoo pleaded with Ansong's family to accept him because he was truly serious about Ansong. He believed that it would be better for the two families to try and reconcile rather than forcing Ansong and Sunwoo to break up. However, his suggestion was rejected, as Chun Young believed that the two families would never get along. On the other hand, Ansong also faced a similar situation with Sunwoo's parents. They opposed Ansong, despite her genuine love for Sunwoo. They wanted the problem between the two families to be resolved by breaking up Ansong and Sunwoo. Meanwhile, Sunyu contacted Ansong and informed her that Sunwoo was at Haha -ha Chicken. Both set of parents angered by each other's action rushed to Haha -ha Chicken. Ansong's parents also visited Sunwoo's house, but it was empty. Ultimately, they all ended up meeting again at Haha -ha Chicken. During this encounter, Sunwoo's parents expressed their concerns that Ansong would still try to seduce Sunwoo even after they break up. Ansong's parents not wanting to lose, and chose the same sentiment. Ansong and Sunwoo could only remain silent as their parents dominated the conversation that night. Even though they both didn't want to break up, their parents had made it clear that they couldn't see each other anymore. That night, Ansong confided in Anhyuk, expressing her confusion about what to do. She sometimes wished she could just close her eyes and follow her parents' wishes. But she couldn't because she and Sunwoo had started the relationship without knowing about the family conflicts. She also mentioned that if she had never met Sunwoo and never fallen in love with him, maybe all these problems wouldn't exist. The next day, Ansong went to Chung's film without having breakfast with her family, as she had been doing for the past few days. She was reluctant to meet her family because they always told her to break up with Sunwoo. And her realized that even though Ansong had broken up, her feelings for Sunwoo hadn't faded. Moreover, they were working together on the same film, making it impossible for them to forget each other since they saw each other every day. It was also not feasible to ask Ansong to keep acting because it was her dream, and she had worked hard to pursue it. Ansong's family was in a state of confusion regarding the situation. They believed that if Sun was family was willing to accept an song, I believe that if Sun was family was willing to accept an song, they might also accept Sun Wu. An song's family was more understanding and cared about an song's feelings. Sun Wu's parents also shared the same sentiment. They believed that an song and Sun Wu would never forget each other because of their shared work on the villain. They couldn't possibly ask Sun Wu to give up on the villain after investing so much time and effort into it. Therefore, Jung Ae, Sun Wu's mother, contemplated finding a way to separate the two of them. She contacted Ha Young and asked for help in firing and Song from the villain. This act was driven by selfishness. Jung Ae loudly insisted that An Song should consider their family situation and not hurt them. However, in doing so, she was destroying other people. Selfishness has no logic, and a Jung-ae's behavior resembled that of Hayo. In my opinion, Ansong's family could also be selfish. An Hyuk as a policeman could potentially devise a plan to involve Sun Woo in a scandal and ruin his reputation. However, Ansong's family didn't resort to such full means to separate Ansong and Sun Woo. Despite not being wealthy, and Song family was much better than the Sunwoo family, especially in terms of Jung S action. Alright everyone, that's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.